Launching zip two, two, in three, two, one. This could be the drone that catapults Rwanda and possibly the world into a faster way to deliver goods. US startup Zipline has developed a fixed wig drone that can automatically fly to its destination using satellite navigation up to 75 kilometers away. Whoa. <laughs> And this is the package that it delivers. It comes down on what wasn't a brilliantly uh, operational parachute, I guess, on this time. It looks like it's uh, come apart. But this is biodegradable. It's a one-time use, so they don't need to worry about the environmental impact of using this. Inside is the life-saving package. This is the blood that will be used by surgeons, possibly to save somebody's life. And as you can see, it's extremely well wrapped up. Rwanda's countryside may be beautiful, but the land of a thousand hills, as it's known, takes time to traverse. Patients brought to Rwanda's many district hospitals can face waits of hours, sometimes a day, for blood or plasma to be delivered by bike. The new service, paid for by delivery by Rwanda's Department of Health, starts with a text and finishes 20 minutes later with a drop, avoiding the need for the drone to land. Uh, the government pays us for each and every flight that we do. But the really cool thing is that these flights are actually uh, about equal or a little less expensive than the way they were currently doing these deliveries using, using motorcycles or, or, uh, or trucks. You can see through this window. While some may find it hard to believe an African nation could lead the world in adopting drone delivery, its technology minister told me he wasn't surprised. Rwanda was the first country to put in place an, um, a fiber optic network across the whole country. Uh, Rwanda is the first country in Africa to put 4G LTE uh, uh, coverage at the country level. Rwanda was the largest deployment of uh, one laptop per child. For me, having lived there all my life, I'm not surprised to see that the president is behind this project, pushing it to uh, become a success. Moves this is still a country where the president is very much in charge. But the minister told me that the technology wasn't being eyed up for use by Rwanda's military. Many African nations are looking at what's happening here to see if this drone can help their rural communities. The fact that its cargo is so precious and potentially life-saving and that President Kagame has given this project his own personal seal of approval means that the team here will probably learn quite quickly. They'll be allowed to make a few more mistakes and other similar schemes around the world. If this can be proven to be safe and reliable, this could be the future of drone delivery, not just in Rwanda, but around the world.